Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. So in this one, we're going to get set up and started with basically our project. So now the first thing that we want to do is we want to clone the repository or you can download the zip file. All right, so let me just, you go to the repository under HLJ Media, you go to repositories or you can just click on the block stripe right there. But for anyone else, I'm just going to click the repositories right there and just click on the blog stripe. All right, so now we end the repository. Okay, now there's a couple of ways to do this. Now, the first one is we can download the zip file, but download the zip file if you're using XAMPP or WAMP inside that HDDocs folder. Okay, so and then you basically unzip it right there. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clone the repository. You can do it with HTTPS, which I'm going to do, or SSH or the GitHub CLI. Now, in this case, I'm using the HTTPS. Let me just make it a little bit bigger for you guys. All right, so I'm using this option right here. So then you just click on the clipboard right here. Okay, now you can do this one of two ways. You can open the htdocs folder, just right click on it and actually go to Visual Studio Code, or we can open a terminal right there. Okay, now I'm going to use the terminal option. I will show you in a second. So I'll click, just copy it right there. Right, so this is the terminal option. Okay, so we open it up right here. And what we do is we type in get, and then just type in clone, and then you paste that link right there. All right, now what will happen now is it will create a folder inside the HT Docs with the last part right here before the dot get. Okay, so it will create a folder with this name inside this folder, HT Docs folder. Then you just press enter. Okay, this is the one way, right? If you're using Visual Studio Code, you open that same in the command terminal and actually just put in get clone and you paste that same link in there. All right, so both of them work the same. Just killing this terminal, all right? So now I'm just pressing enter, and you will see it's cloning that one right there. Okay, so if we actually, what we're going to do now is if we CD into basically the block stripe, so basically we're entering that folder, you will see we're in the master folder, and now in order to open this folder in Studio Visual Studio Code, we just type in code-n with a period or a full stop, right? So that will open it up in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so there's obviously a couple of things we need to set up, like the database and all that kind of stuff. Right, so the first thing that you will notice is we don't have an environment file right here. So what are we going to do is we're going to clone this one right here. So just create a new file. So I'm just going to clone this, duplicate it. Just do it like this. Rename this one. .env like this okay so now what i'm going to do i'm just because this is just an example which is nice you can just duplicate it and then we got our environment file right here okay so this is the one that's basically in control of setting up the variables and everything of our laravel application now in this case i'm just going to call this one block.test now the url will basically be block dot stripe dot test okay, so i'm just going to call this block stripe like this right now the next thing that we want to do is we need to actually create a database for that so i'm just going to call just to be consistent i'm just going to call it block blocks dash stripe okay so let's quickly create this database okay Right, so I've got my databases. You can have any other database if you've got whatever platform you have. You can do it whatever. Now in this case, I'm just going to call it block stripe like this, and I'm just going to call it create. Right, so now we're all done. Right, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to run the terminal. Right, so we're in there. Now the next part we want to do is we want to migrate this database. Right, so we type in php artisan migrate. 
Oh yes, before we do that, we need to actually do a composer install. So composer install and then press enter. And so don't be afraid when you see this error. I think I'm going to leave it in the video because some people might want to, if they get this, they might be afraid what happens. All right. So you will see the vendor folder is not being loaded. Just do a composer install. And so what this will do, it will create, install all the dependencies for our Laravel application. Right, so that's all done. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to clear the terminal. Right, so what we're going to do is PHP Artisan Migrate like this and press Enter. Right, so we migrated our database. All good. And so if I go to block.stripe, you'll see we've got our users, migrations, everything all set up. All good. All right, so we obviously are not finished because you will see we don't have an app key. This is very important. So let's quickly generate a key. And so let's open up our terminal again. Let me just clear this. All right, so it is PHP Artisan Key Generate enter okay so as you can see it created our key right there awesome stuff right so let's see if we can visit our url right so stand resource, okay it doesn't it right so resources you will see we don't have an svg folder right there okay that's all that means so just create a new folder svg like that okay so now we're all set up. Just go to resources and just create a new folder called SVG. Now this is for the Blade UI kit icons. Right, so if we go back, you will see we're inside our block. Right, so that's basically how to set it up. So I just wanted to show for the ones that don't know how to do it. And yes, okay. So if you like the video, please give it a like. If you don't, please give it a dislike. And if you have any feedback, comments or suggestions, please leave it for me in the comment section. And thank you and see you in the next one. Adios.